is Brandon Darby with Breitbart Tech Group. And I'm here on the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas in a little town called Fort Hancock. Uh, it's outside of El Paso. It's in the El Paso sector. And as you can see, here is this amazing border fence that, we, that our politicians fight about and pundits on TV fight about and say it isn't possible and it will cut off farmland. And, well, anyways, here is this amazing border fence, right? This new border fence that's actually been there for a while. You can tell by the rust on the joints and so forth and the, on the welds. On the other side of the little piece of the little hill that's on the other side of that wall, that's the Rio Grande. That's the river that separates. It's a very shallow river. It separates in this area. It separates Texas from Mexico. On the other side of that river is a Mexican highway and Mexican little towns and so forth. And all someone has to do is cross the shallow river. And as you can see, they never finished the fence. They've done nothing here. There's nothing here. And what's interesting about it, and the arguments that political leaders make, is that, well, areas that are very remote and are hard to get to, you don't need to have a fence because we have all this space to catch them. But here's the catch. If you go right that way, those cars that you see in the distance, way over there, about a mile and a half, two miles away, that's Interstate 10. So that's I-10. It goes all the way to Los Angeles and goes all the way into Florida. That's Interstate 10, right there. So all someone has to do is cross and make their way there. We've been here at this point for about half an hour. We've seen no Border Patrol agent. There are no sophisticated towers with equipment to be seen. There are no blimps in the sky, none of the Border Patrol aerostats. There are no state troopers out here, no DPS out here. Uh, that we've seen. There are no National Guardsmen that we've seen, no Border Patrol agents that we've seen, no local police that we've seen, no law enforcement whatsoever easily could have crossed, made it to Interstate 10 to bring a load of dope or to bring Osama bin Laden right to the interstate. And no one has, has come up to us for anything. There's no one out here. There's no technology out here that is visible. And the interesting thing about this is that state leaders they talk about securing the border. They talk about sending state troopers to the border. They talk about sending National Guardsmen to the border. But they do that in one or two Border Patrol sectors. Texas has five Border Patrol sectors in it, right? They do that in the Border Patrol sectors where the majority of, like, minors cross or women and children cross. But they don't do that in the other sectors that has a tendency to have more cartel activity and less less human smuggling and more narcotics and more, you know, criminals coming and so forth, sex offenders and what have you. Uh, there's nothing here, nothing whatsoever. Again, there's the fence, there's the end of it, there's nothing here, nothing at all.